Hello everyone. Happy New Year. I may be a little late because today is what the 12th of January and um, yeah I just wanted to do a quick video kind of showing um, some of what is on my to crochet list. Okay. Uh, I mean, I haven't counted how many are in my list, but um, it's it's very long. So, but I just thought, you know, I would do something or kind of show some of what's on my list. I don't really have, um, you know, like I said, my last video been kind of busy with other things and working on my uh, Etsy shop and stuff. Uh, I'll put a link in my in my shop if you wanted to um, check it out. It's not really a whole lot of crochet stuff. I have a few crochet knit items like, um, like mugs and uh, accessory pouch. You know, you can use for knitting notions, or crochet notions, or even um, use it as a project bag, a small project bag, because the large version of the pouch is quite large. Um, I don't have it on hand to show you, but if you, you know, I have the measurements in the listing so you can, um, you know, use your tape measure and, and get an idea of how big the large accessory pouch is. But anyway, so been very busy because, like I said, you know, we're getting ready to move and I'm trying to set up and get business started and hoping for some sales to help with our moving fund, things like that. And, um, you know, so just haven't really been busy with a whole lot of crochet work, but I thought I wanted to at least kind of, you know, put a video out and kind of talk crochet, you know, a little bit. So just a few, a handful, and I may do this once in a while, or, you know, um, if you guys like this, I will do, definitely do more just to show you what's on my crochet list. And, um, It'd be, I think it'd be cool to see what's on your crochet list. Um, if you guys are a content creator, you know, um, do a video and tag me in it and let me see what's on your uh, crochet to-do list. So I'm gonna start with the amigurumi. I have a few mixed up. And um, most of these, um, I, no, I have a mix of some of paid and free, free patterns. So. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is this um, really adorable elephant. This one is, oh, sorry if you hear my girls uh, getting a little loud there. But first one I have is an elephant and this one is a free pattern. It is on Amigurumi Today. I think Amigurumi Today is free. I'm pretty sure. You just, be, but you do have to sign up for an account, I think. Um, and I will, of course, will link everything in the description so you can check out where to get these patterns. And of course, I'm gonna show the patterns right here on the screen so you can see what they look like. And it, this one is just a really cute, it's a small little elephant, as you can see from the picture, because you can see the person's hand in there. And of course, obviously, you can use the chenille yarns, the big ones, and of course, it make it a little bit bigger. So there's that one. The next one I have is the Pusheen cat. And at, um, yeah, like from the, the emojis menu, um, I think many people, most people are familiar with the Pusheen cat. So it'll be right here. I'm gonna show you really cute. Uh, definitely looks like um, a bit longer, obviously a longer make because you can see all the stitches involved because of how small the stitches are, then you know it requires a whole lot more stitches, but really cute with an ice cream cone. And then this Valentine's Day gnome, you know, perfect, we're coming upon um, Valentine's. And I guess maybe I should have done a video on Valentine's, um, but I don't think I have too many Valentine's Day um, in my list, but this one I do. So it's a really cute, like you see it, different variety of um, styles and colors that you can do with this gnome and um, yeah so this one is also free and the um, the pushing cat oh I can't I'm sorry I can't remember I will have to look at um, let me look really quick to see the pushing cat is okay that one is free that one is free and so is the gnome the Valentine's Day gnomes 
and the next one I have is okay now these are from these are all from Etsy that I have saved in my Etsy favorites these this first one and I'm going to show two different pictures um really really just so cute like dragon so I have several different patterns here or actually two I have two different dragon patterns that I found and I favored it in my in Etsy but this first one as you can see is um well they have it designed as a sleepy dragon um you of course can use safety eyes if you want uh, but um I, I I really like the sleepy eyed one um and I think these would be so cute for um a little baby or taller but um yeah, so there's this, there's that one. Really, really cute. And then, the, this next one is called Winnie. And I first found, I saw this actually on a Crochet Facebook group first. And when I saw it, I really liked their design. I should have taken a picture of that one. The way they had a design, the, their color choices and um, stuff just, I was like, wow. But anyway, but even the original design, as you can see, is quite amazing. And um, they obviously use some kind of like fur yarn for the, like the back and um, definitely the tail, as you can see in the pictures. So yeah, so these two are from Etsy and um, definitely probably tackle the smaller dragon first. Uh, but yeah, they, they are just amazing looking and I think I think out of the two I think I really like Winnie just because of the style and I guess probably because of the fur it just adds a whole other dimension to it and I guess too if you wanted to use fur maybe you try using fur on the other one I'm not quite sure but you can experiment and um, yeah and then so the next one is from Etsy as well and it's called um, I guess the, the designer called it Pika Rudo because it's a combination of Pikachu and Rudo and just really really cute really cute so um, that was on my list and then this last amigurumi I have here is this adorable adorable little lamb so cute so very cute uh, so yeah so that one definitely is on my list and okay so now some non amigurumi related oh well this one i guess you i don't know you could call it amigurumi maybe i don't know um but this one you know as i was um compiling this list that i wanted to show today um it kind of kind of well it got me actually you know interested you know, that i actually started it so this is the I mean, they call it a ka kawaii cuddler but it's a moon pillow and just, you know, really simple. And I kind of was looking for something just like I wanted to do something that's a bit more mindless in the sense where I can just, you know, figure out what I need to do for that particular row and just, you know, do it without having to worry about counting stitches and whatnot. And, you know, like most amigurumi, like doing it in the round is, um, and just, I have to pay more attention a lot of times. And um, this one did have a little bit of, you know, counting um, during some of the rows, but uh, for the most part, you know, it's just something I can just kind of do on autopilot in a sense. And so I got part of it. I got the first half finished, as you can see, of the moon, because this is, I think, the nose right here. And um, the only thing about this pattern, I have to say, is that if you choose to do to do this one, when you do the foundation chain, um, I guess I should have looked at the whole pattern first to figure it out to really realize, you know, what, how this thing was create, how this thing is created. So you do the foundation row and it's like right here and you can probably see there's a difference. You can see right where that line is um, because when I made the foundation chain and then, you know, cro single crochet into the chain, I... Um, like did it just into the chain like I should have done it in the back loop um sorry my girls are a bit loud but uh if you hear them and uh but anyway so so for the second half of this I did a um when I did the single crochet into the 
the chain, I um, crocheted it into the back loop. So that way it kind of um, is a bit more, I don't know, what's the word? Like, not so, doesn't create a gap, gap or create such holes because with this one, um, there were just like, there were just such big gaps because, you know, crocheting into the one strand of the chain, it created this like all th these holes. So like before I kind of went in with an another piece of yarn to kind of like fill in the holes. So it's not so like extremely obvious that there are holes there. And you can still kind of see the difference, you know, so even with the light, right? That the light comes through, you can see the difference. The line, right, where the foundation chain end is, starts. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so I did the um, single crochet into the back loop, and so that kind of helps. That helps not have such a big. Hopefully, um, I just started, so the second half, like I said. So hopefully that will turn out better, and um, because I don't like how you can differentiate and see there's just like a difference in the line here because um, once you finish this then you have to go back here and do this and crochet the bottom part of this moon so but yeah so so this is one of the ones that is on that is on my list and I'm actually gonna end up taking it off my list because I've got, got to start it sometimes I just need a, a more mindless crochet project um, because I'm, um, you know, I, I'm taking a course and learning about um, this business that I'm getting into, um, print on demand. So um, I, as I'm like watching the course or, you know, watching the videos in the course, then I kind of want to, sometimes I want to do something with my hand along, along with it. Um, but yeah, so that's why I, went ahead and just like okay well you know what since I have this on my list and this one looks pretty simple just single crochet normally I can't stand just all single crochet projects um that's not amigurumi um but I kind of really actually needed it this time so yeah so that's that and then the next one is this blanket that I saw actually in one of the Facebook groups as well a while ago and and actually um someone else had actually i actually saw it then after i saw it on facebook i saw it on somebody's youtube channel and i can't remember who it was but um this blanket i don't i and this blanket is just really really cute and i have yet to do a blanket and blankets aren't really on my list although they kind of are but it's just because they just such a much longer project that i just they're like kind of like at the very bottom of my list but when i saw this blanket like i there's just something about this one that really kind of drew me to it and so i have it on my um to-do list crochet to crochet list so um and you know it is a baby blanket so it is a little bit smaller but there's just something about this like design it, you know because it is it's like it's almost like a graph gam but it's not it's like um you know because this this particular design as you can see it's you know quite different from regular graph gans um and color work designs and um this one i guess is considered a mosaic i think the pattern doesn't say that it's called mosaic i can't remember what they called it they use a different kind of stitch but um or m maybe it's the same stitch but just called something different um, I can't remember the name that it's called in the pattern, but I've looked, um, seen this one, and I know it as the, the um, like the millstone stitch, and um, I think it's mosaic. Um, but I just really, I just think, like something what drew, drew me to this one is just because um, I think it, it doesn't require like bobbins and things like that, and two, I just really like the design of the stitch as well in it, so. Yeah, and th this one is also this one is paid, and it is from um, Annie's. So that's gonna be in the link as well. And so now after this one is I have just three more designs. So then I have this one very simple. This one is free. It is a very simple like kitchen towel, just really pretty, and um, it has just a little bit of design you know like instead of being it all just like single crochet or all double crochet whatever 
this one has a little bit of variation in stitches and it's just a very um, pretty design that gives a little bit of a interest you know in in different stitches and texture so yeah so that one is on my list and this next one the second to last one is this very simple knot bag uh, I, and I can't remember because I didn't quite look at the what the stitch is but I like how the texture of this is you know because it's not like the regular um, single crochet whatever stitches this is it you know gives it like a texture and so that one just kind of really I really liked it and so that's that's why I added it to my list and so the very last one is a wall hanging and as you can see it is of hearts really really cute and you can I mean there's just so many um, options you know color choices that you can do it you can do it all solid color you can mix and match you can have two different colors you can have you know three different colors um, you know which however whatever floats your boats it's just really pretty and you kind of you know you can do it piece by piece and then connect them all together very simple not too doesn't look like a, it would be a very long project looks like a pretty quick and um, easy one and so I think yeah so that's the last one so those are the the ones on my uh, crochet to do to do list. So tell me what were your favorites and that one. Which ones are you gonna add to it? Um, add to your list. And um, if you guys happen to to do a list of your own and put it up on YouTube, t please tag me in it. I'd love to see. So that is it. Oh, and one last thing, I wanted to show you. Um, the remember the bunny in my show in my last video i didn't quite finish it because i wanted to add the bows to the ears but i did do the overalls and here it is so yeah as you can see i went with the mint color and because i i went and checked the color wheel and i saw that this is i think a complementary color or i can't remember it's either like complimentary or um, I don't remember the, the term where it's like, um, you know, close to the color, but I think it's complimentary. So yeah, so that's the color that I ended up choosing because I had, it was either this or blue or white um, or the purple. So I went with this color, but yeah. So I just need to do the bows and it will be officially finished. Isn't she cute? But yeah. So yeah, so that's all I got for today. And hope you guys are having a great new year so far. And um, I guess that'll be it. I'll end it here. And I shall see you next time. Alrighty, guys. Bye.